And when Angel Reese comes out and says, she ain't the only one everybody's watching, they're watching me too, they're watching others, a day later she gets ejected. This is the feud, rivalry saga of Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, a drama that is upending the WNBA. Stick around for what's brewing between these two stars. Trust me, it's nothing you've ever witnessed before. Recently, however, Reese has been in a position that is not very pleasing, one that pretty much every other athlete would prefer to avoid. She used to be regarded as one of the most promising young players of the WNBA. She now has the great dilemma of trying to step out of the curtains in the shadow of Caitlin Clark. It has been the pictorial publicity stunt of rookie sensational Clark who has broken record after record and been in the media limelight so much that even Reese feels like she is on a bench. The limelight, which once cut across several because it was shared, now focuses on only Clark and it is becoming very visible that frustration from Reese is growing. Reese has, however, vigorously defended himself against what has stood as the major source of public ire. The comparison with Clark. It is comprehensible, no anyone at all, such as being compared but more so. The relative performance exceeds the core of frustrations. Nevertheless, in the world of professional sports, those comparisons should at some point happen. The problem is not the comparisons as such, but rather the impact they have had on Reese. Rather than treating such comparisons as a source of motivation and quest to be best in their positions, Reese has allowed herself to be bullied by these comparisons, and the more she does it, the more insecurity she shows shows on the court and off the court. Caitlin Clark's stock keeps increasing, not entirely succumbing to the deluge of media attention. She is setting new records and blazing faster's new trails in the WNBA. As every contest that Clark participates in, she fortifies those who proclaim her as someone who must never be undermined. The reason why the focus of the media is on her is not to belittle Reese, but to give due respect to Clark and her skills that help her influence the league. In terms of Reese, this is a crucial growth step. She she must let go of the green-eyed monster and be able to work hard or continue to use it in the court. For Reese, this is one of those groundbreaking events. It is time to rise to the occasion or risk standing aside, watching as Clark goes from strength to strength and striding to victory over everyone. So far, Caitlin Clark's inaugural year can be termed as a perfect season without exaggeration. In a competitive basketball league, she is not only a great basketball player, but also an exceptional and envelope-pushing one. People in the WNBA have come to know Clark for her borderline miracle performances that she executes day in day out. But above all, she is changing the discourse on being a rookie in professional basketball. Clark's remarkable achievements, be it her scoring, playmaking, or commanding presence within the court, are no longer just personal bests, but have also defined what is called the Clark Effect, a level beyond most, if not all, her contemporaries, including Angel Reese herself. While the rise of Clark has been steady as the stars are in a rush to do, Reese on the other hand, as the media Media continues to tout, Clark has turned into a relative struggle for most, if not all. Analysts, as well as the experts, have been the first to highlight the growing distance of such nature. Clark has probably been one of the central figures, able to meet each and every hurdle no matter the difficulties, whereas Reese has been hit and miss in terms of performing. People tend to say something regarding this turning potential that rests within and they call it clutch. It is clear that Clark has a knack for it as opposed to Reese, who has struggled to find this consistency. Clark's achievements have a wider scope, not only because of the personal awards earned, but also because of what they are doing for the entire WNBA. WNBA is increasingly gaining favor from the public. The ratings are good, the number of fans has never been higher, and the league is enjoying a revival. This is largely due to the fact that Clark brings so much energy and pizzazz on the court. With her gift of capturing fans, new eyes have been drawn into the WNBA, a pattern that will be very much desired by the league. For Reese, she is inspired inspired and at the same time challenged with the goals accomplished by Clark. It is evidence of what can be achieved by anyone willing to put in the work. Should Reese manage to think of a way of leveraging her skills and redirecting her frustrations to something productive, there's no reason why she and Clark cannot be competing in this new chapter of women's basketball. Angel Reese recently incurred the hate of the media, especially when she came out and bashed Caitlin Clark. While many people scoffed at her remarks, some well-known persons kicked against her ideas. 
Stephen A. Smith, a guy known for his hot takes, also expressed his opinion. But perhaps we should not be surprised. Never shy to appreciate the gifts of champions, he still focused attention to Reese's constant comparisons to other players instead of honing her skills. In essence, he was telling them that in professional sports, what you do is far more important than what you say. Such statements by Smith are not new to the sports industry. Mere adolescent talent is not the answer. How you show up will determine your worth. Reese has been in the issues of losing form lately, and her attempts to criticize Clark have only magnified the distance between them. As such, for many, the Aubrey Reese controversy is viewed as a sideshow rather than what she has not been able to do on the court. Gino Ariema, a stalwart of women's basketball, was another who provided his view of within the context of the subject matter. He supported the position that there is a difference between being a star and becoming a superstar. Stars, he says, have raw gifts. However, superstars come from hard hard work, determination, and the ability to get past other obstacles. Aware of the crossroads that Reese is in, he thinks Kate Parsons' suggestion is at best a partial solution. She has two options, one being to walk this very road, probably in the hope that the slanderous comparisons and other humiliating criticisms cease, or to actively try to move forward and improve herself. This isn't just about the snide remarks of the media towards Reese. It's about the lack of respect that those comments indicate. Every player is willing to do anything to gain attention. Therefore, for them, Reese's dependence on admiration from outside is regarded as an aberration. Caitlin Clark, conversely, seems to be able to maintain her focus and excel, which is critical at the elite level. The media attention on Clark does not in any way overplay her accomplishments. It is legitimized by them. If Reese wants to attract the same attention, she will have to do it, not in words, but in deeds. The feud of Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark is not limited to personal rivalry. It has a broader and more relevant relevant impact as far as the WNBA is concerned. As long as such opportunities exist, and as long as these two athletes continue with their careers, the rivalry will remold the narrative as well as the future of the league. Caitlin Clark has brought back the WNBA and continues to entice fans and people within the league. It makes her one of the most marketable players, besides her being a top performer in the basketball court, who winds this tremendous new chapter in women's game basketball. However, to WNBA, this is a priceless chance to capitalize on Clark's achievement in making the league more appealing to many sponsors, which in turn will bring financial stability to the organization. Interestingly, according to Angel Reese, she illustrates the dilemmas that professional sports persons go through, especially in this generation of social media and 24-7 public relations. The criticism that she is receiving has little to do with her actual playing and more with how she is coping with fame and all the idealistic approaches to Manhattan athletes. Reese's narrative is a lesson to other sportsmen and women on how to fight with the inner demons, stay calm, and avoid distractions. The differences in the career trajectories of Reese and Clark also indicate that there is a change in the recognition and rewarding of talent in the WNBA. In earlier years, marketability might have been gauged by such conventional attributes as team success or experience. Nonetheless, Clark's rapid ascent shows that extraordinary talent married with the right frame of mind can make a player a superstar irrespective of how long one has been in action. It is likely that this change change will affect the player development and marketing of future stars of the league. The debates concerning player likenesses and optics of players are also triggering essential dialogues about equity and injustice in sports journalism. There are contrasting views by advocates of equal coverage for all the media players on the one hand, and on the other hand, those who advocate for excellence and top performance of the players who are newsworthy on the side of coverage. In this regard, how the WNBA develops all of these factors will be key in the development of the league.